Hello everyone, uh, let us uh, talk about the liquid dosage form. This is my new lecture. Uh, uh, this lecture is uh, related to uh, pharmaceutics, especially for B form students and for form D students. You, so, you should review all this lecture. Okay. So, uh, let us take a start. Uh, liquid dosage forms, these are the dosage forms. Liquid forms of a dose of a drug used as a drug or medication intended for administration or consumption. As we know that uh, we have a uh, different dosage form like uh, solid dosage form, liquid dosage form, semi solid dosage form, but the topic which uh, I am going to present that is liquid dosage form. So, the liquid dosage form of a dose of a drug used as a drug or medication intended for administration or consumption and these are potential advantages of oral liquid dosage forms such as no dissolution time and rapid absorption from the stomach or intestine compared to the tablets, which may be an important factor for pain relieving drugs. Inherent in this benefit is the risk of reaching the peak plasma levels too fast which could be harmful finally, as the excipient technology advances the control release profile and liquid forms will likely become readily available. So, uh, so as we uh, know about uh, this strategy that there are uh, certain drugs which are available in the market in solid dosage form as well as in liquid dosage form and semi solid dosage form and each and every drug have uh, different uh, shelf life and uh, expiry and many and more. There are certain advantages of liquid dosage form. Let us suppose if a drug is said to be designed in liquid dosage form, what will be the merits? So, a liquid dosage form have faster absorption than solid dosage forms. Another advantage if the drug is in liquid dosage form, it must be palatable and pleasing to taste. It is the best choice for children and old persons because there are some people who are unable to take certain medications in the form of tablets or capsules. So, uh, liquid dosage forms, which is the best choice for the children and as well as geriatrics people. Now, come toward the classification of liquid dosage form. Liquid dosage form can be classified into two categories. One, one is monophasic liquid dosage form, while the second one is biphasic dosage form. How we can differentiate between monophasic liquid dosage form and biphasic liquid dosage form? Monophasic means monophasic liquid dosage form means it contain only one phase. If we can compare and for example, the monophasic dosage forms or liquid dosage form, it contain only one pass. The first one is liquids for internal use. So, there are many examples you can see here on my screen. Uh, liquid dosage form or liquids for internal use that is drops, that is elixir, that is linctus, syrup and drops. While the second one is liquids for external use liquids for external use that is liquid to be applied to the skin. For example, there are certain medications which are available in the form of liquid which can be directly applied on the skin. For example, liniments and lotions. These are topical applications, but liquid dosage form. Liquid means for body cavities. For example, gurgles, throat pants, mouthwash, throat pants, mouthwash, eye drops, eye lotions, ear drops, nasal drops, sprays and inhalations. So, we are talking about the uh, different dosage form, especially the liquid dosage forms which can which are coexist in uh, different forms like monophasic and biphasic dosage form. So, I will discuss each and everything step by step. 
सीरप स्किन बी डिफाइन एज दिस इज ए सेचूरेटेड सोल्यूशन ऑफ सक्रोज इन प्यूरिफाइड वाटर स्वीट वेस्क प्रिपेरेशन द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ शुगर एन सीरप इज ऑलमोस्ट सिक्सटी सिक्स परसेंट वेट बाई वेट सीरप कॉन्टेनिंग मेडिसनल सब्सटांसिस विच आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड मेडिकेटेड सीरप एंड दो कॉन्टेनिंग एरोमेटिक और फ्लेवर्ड सब्सटांसिस आर नोन एज फ्लेवर्ड सीरप्स एक्चुअली दी सीरप सोल्यूशन एस सिचुरेटेड सोल्यूशन विच इज ऑलमोस्ट कंपोज ऑफ which consists of sucrose as well as purified water along with the which is also known as sweet viscous preparations uh the concentration or the amount the quantity of sugar uh, which is present in the syrup that is 66% weight by weights which also containing some medicinal substances so on on the basis of that we can say that is called medicated syrup and those containing aromatics or flavored substances which are known as flavored syrups it means that syrup contains sucrose uh along with purified water which is sweet viscous preparations and almost the sugar concentration is 66% weight by weight uh come to all the preparations how the syrups can be prepared um there are two one is extemporaneous preparation small scale preparation one is commercial scales but i am going to highlight this is very simple methods through which you can design you can formulate um the syrups uh you can add sucrose to the purified water and then heat it to dissolve the sucrose with occasional stirrings uh after that uh, to uh, cool it and then more and then more of purified water uh, to make the required weight and syrups are used in formulation of antibiotics sil saline drugs vitamins and anti tosy agents and sedative hypnotics so this is the preparation method these are the preparation methods which i have explained in a very simple way but uh, sometime um as usually uh, let's suppose if you are going to design or prepares any usage form on commercial skills so it need be uh, heavy uh, machines and equipments and it will take long time uh while in case of extemporaneous preparation or in small scale preparations uh just uh, the uh, actually the method which uh, uh, i have explained about the uh, syrup preparation on a small scales uh another liquid dosage form which is called elixir so elixir in simple words elixirs uh, these are the sweet aromatic colored preparations uh aromatic means aroma mean which is a greek word which mean fragrance so it is a sweet uh, aromatic color preparations and main ingredients of elixirs contains it contain ethyl alcohol water glycerin and propylene glycol flavoring agents syrup etc and preservatives are used so i think this is very simple very easy to understand that uh, how we can differentiate between the syrup and suspension and is uh, elixir so how uh, as i have already mentioned that in syrup uh, there will be uh, you can say sucrose uh, and sugar uh, at the concentration of 66% uh, weight by weight and uh, as well as uh, purified water is also used while in case of elixir so we are using certain ingredients like ethyl alcohol so as well as waters glycerin propylene glycol flavoring agents and these are the reagents which are used uh, especially in the preparation of elixirs uh, medicated elixirs uh, contains very potent drugs such as antibiotics antihistamines sedatives so it means that uh, antibiotics uh, antihistamines and sedative hypnotic agents so they are available in a markets uh, elixirs are available in the form of antibiotic antihistamines and sedatives uh, flavoring elixirs are uh, used as uh, flavors in vehicles another liquid dosage form which is called elinctus elinctus is a viscous liquid and oral preparations that are generally prescribed 
for the relief of cough and they contain medicaments which have demulcent, sedative or expectorant actions. Lengthuses should be taken in a small doses, sipped and swallowed slowly without diluting it. Uh, it with waters in order to have maximum prolonged effect of medications. The simple syrup is used as a vehicle for most of the lengthuses in. For example, taller syrup is preferred in certain cases because of its aromatic color and flavor. So, it means that lengthuses these are also viscous liquids in oral preparations and generally they are prescribed for the relief of cough and they contain medicaments and it has some demulcent, sedative and expectorant actions. So, all these are uh, liquid dosage forms. Another one is drop. So, drops it also come under the category of liquid dosage forms. Drops are the liquid preparations mean for oral administration. The oil soluble vitamins such as vitamin D and D, vitamin A and D. So, a vitamin A which is water soluble vitamins and uh, uh, that is called vitamin A and vitamin D which is called retinols. Vitamin A and vitamin D these are uh, uh, vitamin D is also called uh, cholecalciferols. So, uh, vitamin A and vitamin D concentration in pesh liver oil, they are presented as a drops for administration. So, since these preparations contain potent medication, the dose must be measured accurately. Another liquid which is formed that is called liniments. So, liniments are the liquids and semi liquid preparations meant for application to the skin and liniments are usually applied to the skin with friction and rubbing of the skins. Liniments may be alcoholic or it may be oily solutions or it may be emulsions. Alcohol helps in penetration of the medic medicaments and this end and to the skin and it can also uh, increase its uh, counter irritants or rebuffations actions. As we know that for example, arachis oil is used in some liniments which spread more easily on the skins and soap is also included as ingredients especially and some of the liniments. So, uh, which helps in the easy application of the liniments on the skin. Uh, liniments also contain medicaments possessing analgesics, rebepicents and as well as the uh, soothing uh, counter. Liniments uh, also contain some medicaments possessing the uh, analgesics, uh, rebupacents and soothing counter irritating or stimulating properties. Liniments it should not be applied to the broken skin, so it may cause it may cause excess irritations. So, uh, some time uh, we are applying uh, these uh, liniments uh, to the uh, skin. So, it will cause uh, um, redness of the skin. Another liquid dosage form that is called lotions. Uh, lotions are uh, the liquid preparations which are mean for the external applications without fractions and they are usually applied direct to the skin with the help of some absorbent material like uh, such as uh, cottons, uh, wool, uh, gauze which is soaked in it and lotion may be used for the local action as with well a schooling, soothing or protective purpose. So, they are generally prescribed for antiseptic actions for example, uh, calamine lotions. Another liquid dosage form that is called gurgles. Gurgles are the uh, pharmaceutically this is aqueous solutions which is used to prevent or treat the throat infection. They are usually available and they concentrated for with the directions for dilutions with warm water before use they are brought into contact 
with mucous membrane of the throat and are allowed to remain in contact at for few seconds. Another liquid is formed that is called mouthwash. So, mouthwash is the aqueous solutions with a pleasing taste and order used to make clean and de arise the buccal cavities. Generally, they contain the antibacterial agents like alcohol, glycerin, and sweetening agent, flavoring agents, and coloring agents. So, these are the are used especially in the formulations of the mouthwashes. Another liquid is its form which is called throat pants. Throat pants is a viscous liquid preparations used for mouth and throat infections. Glycerin is the most commonly used as a base, especially in throat pants and it adhere to the mucous membranes for a longer period and it possessed as a sweet taste. So, I mean that throat pants actually these are just like these are viscous preparations, viscous liquid preparation and they are as usually used for the mouth and throat whenever there is, whenever there is uh, uh, acute or chronic infections in the mouth and the throats. So, glycerin is a common agent which is used as a base and it can directly uh, interact with the uh, mucous membranes for the uh, especially to prolong its uh, uh, time periods and it possesses a very sweet taste. Another liquid is that form that is called nasal drops. Nasal drops are the solutions of the drugs that are instilled into the nose with the help of dropper and they are usually aqueous, they are not oily drops. Nasal drops, they are not oily. So, the nasal drops, it should be isotonic. Isotonics having neutral pH mean its, its pH must be equivalent with your biological system and nasal drops and have viscosity similar to the nasal secretions by using an agent that is called methyl alcohol. Uh, another liquid is its form which is called ear drops. So, ear drops are the sterile solution which are free from phyrogens, which are free from contaminations. Sterile solution or suspension of the drops, they are instilled in into the eye with the, with the help of dropper. And the eye drops are usually made in aqueous vehicle and it should be sterile, it should be isotonic and it should be uh, and it sh there should be at secretion should be la lacrimal secretions and buffered and free from the foreign particle to avoid the irritation to the eye. So, all these are come under the category of liquid dosage form. So, another one is uh, uh, that is called eye lotion. So, eye lotions these are also aqueous preparations or aqueous solution used for washing the eyes and the eyes lotions are supplied in concentrated form and they are required to be diluted uh, with uh, warm water immediately before use it should be isotonic and free from the foreign particle to avoid irritation to the eye. Another liquid is its form which is called ear drops. So, ear drops all these are monophasic dosage forms and ear drops are the solutions of the drugs. So, they are instilled in the ear with the help of dropper and these are generally used for cleaning the ear and softening the wakes and for treating the mild infections. Uh, thank you so much uh, for watching my lectures. Uh, this uh, lecture was uh, almost about the liquid preparation, especially the uh, monophasic uh, dosage form. And inshallah, in my next lecture, uh, we will discuss about the biphasic liquid dosage form, which is a, a two-phase system. So, inshallah, uh, in my next lecture, uh, we will talk about the biphasic liquid dosage form and inshallah, uh, this lecture will be continued. So, uh, if you have any question regarding uh, my lectures, so I will try my best to uh, keep you in touch and uh, if someone need these contents and soft form, so uh, you can directly uh, email me, so uh, which is already available on my YouTube channel. So, wish you all the best. Uh, thank you so much.